Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Nepal Traveler Travel Trade Talk. Today, joining me on the show is a professional hospitalier. He's been in the hospitality industry in Nepal. He started his career, then moved on to India where he managed a number of branded properties. And today he's back uh, at the IHG in Buranilkanta. Today, help me to welcome our guest, Mr. Arya S. J. B. Rana, who is the general manager of this brand new property. Welcome to the show. Sir. Thank you so much, sir. So, uh, to start with, I mean, you're a Nepali, but you've had your major career in India. Yes. But at the start, how did you enter into the hospitality industry? So, it's a funny story. Uh, so, obviously, I did my schooling in India and I was a humanities student. So, obviously, that time there was a choice either to do history honors, English honors, or some other you know, on a, on a field. But uh, I think I was a little psychological that, you know, or I should get into a professional stream. So I thought the closest would be hospitality and hotels. So I just jumped into hotels thinking it's going to be a glamorous profession, which obviously eventually becomes. But I think I was very uh, wrong about <laughs> how hotels work. And when I joined, then I got into IHM Aurangabad in India. Okay. So that's how I started my education. It was second year in college when I became passionate about hotels. I realized I'm, I love meeting customers, problem resolution. I was very bad with numbers initially. Okay. <laughs> so that was a, a challenging time because obviously we didn't have maths and sciences. That's the first thing I dropped after 10th boards. But as we went, I think numbers is one of the most important thing that anyone in hotels, whether you are an HOD, where even when you start lower. So slowly the passion grew and obviously meeting new customers, getting all the knowledge, even like, you know, it, the, this is the only industry where I think for me, at least I felt that meeting so many guests who come, they literally bring the world to you, exactly. you know, so different knowledge more than it's out on the news or what you've read. The real experiences of natives of those places, their culture, uh, their way of living, that really fascinated me. So then I just got into it. And um, so I started with Aurangabad as my base as college. Then I got through a management trainee in JW Marriott. Then after I finished my management trainee, I had just come to Nepal where um, I met the general manager um, in a, in a get together. So that time I was planning to go back to India. So he told me, why don't you work here in Nepal? So I said, you know, it'll be more challenging in India than Nepal. And he's like, come. So that's how I started my career with IG. So that time Crown Plaza, Solti. So I started there six years in Solti. Then I took a transfer. I got a transfer to India where I was the room division manager. Even in Solti, I finished as a room division manager. So I went to India to I, Crown Plaza, Greater Noida, 400 room keys property, massive property as the rooms division manager. And I was lucky enough within one and a half years, there was an opportunity uh, for a general manager in Holden T3, Holden Express inside the Terminal, Terminal 3 Tree. airport. So that was another game because you had it was a different, it wasn't a normal hotel that you could run. So it was more of, you know, a lot of SOPs, little complicated initially. And um, then I spent, I mean, by that time I'd spent a good 10 years with IHG. So then I thought for a personal development break I took was to train under a venture capitalist in Delhi. So that was, I think, a very big learning experience. But I was very scared because, you know, from all these years in hospitality and suddenly leaving it, getting into, you know, um, learning about investment into businesses. And so that became a game changer for me. So then right after that, I think everyone was, uh, you know, hit with COVID that time. So I think I'm talking about like 2020 starting. So COVID finished. Then I did little consultancy in Nepal for, uh, for a few brands. Uh, over here, not only hospitality, but other right. sectors too. So then I suddenly realized my passion is hotels. I think I'm, that is where my heart lies. So there was an opening for Nepal and I just applied and I must thank IHG, who I worked for 10 years. 
it didn't take them much time to say okay and i said i want it in nepal because i want to go back to my country and they were kind enough um because it is very difficult to come back to nepal in a brand managed hotel as a nepalese so the company trusted and i obviously uh, give credit to the ownership also of the hotel so mr and mrs kharka and our chairperson is uh, mrs vinita kharka so they wanted a nepali general manager so that was very kind of them to even consider that so that's how it started then i started this hotel so sorry i mean it's a little long no, but try to so put it as short you've been a uh, majorly through your career with ig yes what are your thoughts on the brand even today you're still with ig i mean how have you evolved with that brand i i will be honest um i i won't talk about others but with ig my experience has been very fantastic and i think they judge you on your performance there's a whole lot of parameters so it's also a team player it's performance you know your experiences with your team guest your various stakeholder internal and external stakeholders and um, i mean it'll sound a little bit too much but uh, every 2 years when i was with them i was always elevated in positions it, uh, because it's purely based on performance, performance exactly. you know how your department your team because you have to take your team along with you so uh, i will never forget i think it was one of the most memorable moments so it was my 30th birthday so we had a gm conference in jaipur i'll never forget that day and that is the day on my 30th birthday uh, southwest asia leader he made me the general manager on my 30th birthday as a gift so this is the kind of personal gestures they did you know and obviously they do like i said the exposure they gave me so i when i was getting into express they sent me to singapore to see how express works okay you know and before that in nepal uh, for a second man training they sent me to thailand for a for future em programs so executive assistant managers programs so they did give that exposure we had trainers coming in you know giving us who used to train all the big corporates so we got all that exposure with the company where they like personal development was there and also obviously they sort you out in terms of your work life balance too they are very very uh, focused very employee centric too so ig has been a great great journey that's why even after 10 years um obviously there were more brands coming in but obviously a little bit of your heart is also with the company because you spent your maximum of your youth with them so that i mean that's a little bit overall picture about ig because ig in nepal i think is expanding its footprint in a number of cities uh, across nepal and the reason i'm asking is because what would you tell young people who are joining these branded properties i mean you've had this exposure and how's it going to be for young nepalese because we that's challenge where we we, are, we can't retain young people true so i think before there were very few hotels because when i was here also when i was in my 20s let's say about 10 15 years back there were ex- except for two or three branded hotels there were not brand hotels there were either stand alones or it was franchise one or two franchise so what happens is in brand hotels you get growth very fast because they have changed they transfer you so if not here then india abroad middle east so you get those opportunities ig coming into nepal with all these properties just now gives a very good career growth for everyone so if you join the hotel you know it in next 2 years you will be able to move maybe not in this hotel maybe in the next one which is opening so you might be a assistant manager here tomorrow you are heading a department and obviously with brands it's very disciplined they groom you they teach you they do their personal development plans it's very intense in your personal growth like they provide all the tools and everything so main thing for young generation just now is i would say you should even if it's us or anything you should stick to a company any any company whether it's stand alone anything for 2 3 years to see the really the growth. the growth starting over here we jump for opportunities in terms of monetary gains mm-hmm. i think if i had seen that i don't think so i would have grown that I'm much it is just moved yeah also so you need to you know have that vision where do you want to reach so my target was to be the youngest general manager of nepal initially a nepali but right. the youngest of all which i did achieve you know so 
you have to keep targets and you have to work towards it because it's not a nine to five job. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's once you are everyone has this thing that once you become the boss, your life is easy. You are responsible for everyone. You know, and you have to be extremely ethical, very calm in your decision making for guests as well as your team. You can't just get emotional and you know do what you feel is right. It has to be a very just and a very broad spectrum. You have to look at your team as well as your guests because you can't just shut down and just react. And and as GM of now a branded property in Nepal, with a number of brands coming into Nepal, opening properties here. How do you see the scenario? How do you see the competition? What's the the industry like at the moment? I think in a way it's good also because. having brands gives that authority to guests also that we follow certain standards so and also i think in the past if we saw guests didn't have much options in a brand property so you know everyone used to get full so they had to go for the lower categories even if they wanted to wanted a brand now if i see our scenario we are situated in a very different location with beautiful view obviously there are few hotels around us but i think everyone gets their market share so brand coming into is not only helping us retain guests into a certain standardized format because brand always for especially for international guests it's a matter of trust exactly. safety security that is what brand and standards obviously they are used to it and the loyalties and loyalties so we have huge loyal customers coming into our hotels and main thing is obviously hotel popping up but it's not only happening in kathmandu it's happening outside which is a very good thing because pokhara all these places need a little bit of brand because stand alone yes they can do to a level but brand for your international customer it gives a sense of security because as you know like whenever someone anyone who comes <coughs> here will always use a travel agent to do their entire ground handling roaming around so and the travel agents from abroad they do prefer little branded hotels that is important for them so i think competition i think there's enough market share to go around with people yes there's a slump of let's say from covid to obviously there are x y z factors where there's been a little bit of a bump of tourism coming in and those kind of clients but i think now by 2025 it starts stabilizing for us what was during let's say 2023 19 before 19 18 i think that is where we will start heading to and obviously i think the government also has a lot of plans to promote nepal tourism in a very focused way so we also did have hostess call meeting and so there were a lot of wonderful points taken into consideration by the call members which obviously they'll propose to the government and things and all so that was a very interesting meeting that we had last week so i think with tourism also increasing as the data of the government shows and hotels coming up i think we should be fine because we are also doing pretty well with just opening just within 2 months as you witnessed today sir <laughs> yeah the hotel is looking good you already got uh, people checked in you've got quite a lot of uh, traffic moving around in the lobby uh, about this property and you were here to launch it you were launched gm also and now that you've launched what has the experience been like and what can a guest expect what is on offer at this property Let's sure take. so obviously i'll just start from the launch i think it's every gm's dream to open a property a pre opening it's everyone's dream it is very tough but a great experience even for the team who join as a pre opening team learn new things you know uh, there's initially there's lesser people so you're doing 10 different things i learned a lot about internal engineering which obviously we knew theoretically but while doing pre opening it's more detailed so obviously the launch it's always pre opening hotels for a gm is always a, a i mean a career goal you know i would love to open more pre opening hotels in my career this would be my first one i've done a conversion which is similar to pre opening but this is This from is from scratch. A, from scratch, it's coming up. So as we've taken the round, you know, it's beautiful view our hotel. We are right on the foothills of Shivapuri, not too far from the city. Yes. Our first guest, you won't. Sorry, I'm just diverting two seconds away from the topic. 
our first guests who came were a Nepali couple. They had come, they had an anniversary, it was a weekday. The day we opened, they had an anniversary, they just saw our hotel, they just came in, they had got their office clothes, they had their anniversary over here. Next morning, eight o'clock, they're back to office. So we are not even far away from the city. So, you know, it's not about only weekends, but we do also do fantastic with weekdays. If, because people don't wait for anniversaries to celebrate. You know, they're not going to be, wait a weekend. If my birthday is today, I would like yeah. to celebrate it today. Yeah. So even the location has been a plus point for the guests. It's not too far. Um, not very difficult to reach. Roads are pretty decent. Second, we offer, obviously, we have this IG. We have kids below 12 eat for free when they are accompanied with the adult. So below 12, the it's all complimentary, a buffet to everything. Then the next stage, we are more focusing on having families. So I think within 15 to 20 days, we would have a kids play area fully done up. So we will, and with a caretaker. So, you know, parents can come, young relax. couples can come and relax over here. So that is our USP, which, and we are focusing very much. And as we grow, obviously I won't disclose many things. So as we grow, <laughs> grow we are more focused on families, kids coming in, couples, you know, their anniversaries, their function, celebrations, uh, marriage function, beautiful. We have had a couple of um, NRI weddings that is happening from India. They've come down, they've seen the spot. So it's, it's a perfect place for a cozy marriage. So we might even we have we use the entire area from a banquet to a poolside area with the bar. It's fantastic location, so we can accommodate about four to five hundred packs easily. So if we utilize the every area, so so that would be our main thing is family, kids, couples, you know, coming here. It's a beautiful place. It's a very romantic place to be very honest. Evenings, it's fantastic, and nearby, like we have hiking, we get you can rent cycles, bicycles, to just go around the area. So, and obviously we have natural fauna and fauna over here. So there's a guide who would take you around walk through, yeah. for a nature walk. So all those facilities we've done, even for our external guests, we are not only offering like breakfast, we are also offering meal plans so that, you know, because, you know, you will come, you will have your dinner. So we are giving attractive rates, very competitive towards then other competitors, you know, we are focusing on that. So, and obviously our local domestic guests, they are biggest partners, corporate retreats. We've done a couple of them. Uh, we are, as you saw today, we are doing conferences, corporate conferences are happening here. So, and the best part about the hotel is the food. So that I'm very proud to say that, that um, since we've opened till now, a highlight has been our food. So the chef also that we've got, he's an expert on Indian and Pan-Asian cuisine. So we also have a Pan-Asian restaurant soon, opening soon. And obviously our poolside bar, uh, we are going to offer barbecues to everything in the coming days. So I think we are catering to every strata from even, um, let's say, senior citizens, you know, if we are also working on a plan to give a special package for senior citizens to come and experience because you know out in the nature closer to that it's, it's not far it's about i think from the city center it's about 20 minutes so i think the closest drive with the best views in Kathmandu you would get so i think we are focusing on every strata of the society so even if someone wants to do a bachelorette party bachelor party birthdays yeah. i think it's fantastic it's just Little bit away, but it'll give it'll give you the feeling that we're completely away from the city. So that is what we are targeting. So there's not a specific group or resort would focus. It's for all. For all. Okay. That's where we are focusing on. <laughs> Most hotels have a problem. You constantly hear we can't get manpower. People are leaving the country. How are you managing this part? How your team talking about the team? That I think that is very true over here. And if I think if I'm not wrong, the problem comes in your senior management now. Your senior management is very few because the hotels were very few before. 
So yes, we do have to temporarily hire people from, let's say, the neighboring country like India, which every hotel is doing it. There's no choice, to be very honest. But at the same time, uh, we have to also look at individuals who are working in other hotels, also not only five-star background, right? Or uh, brand managed hotels. We also look at standalone hotels. We look into team members who are working there. They're fantastically talented. All we have to do is get them in and groom them towards the standards, which is very easy, user-friendly. All our systems are very user-friendly. So it doesn't take the team to uh, get used to it. So yes, there is a crunch, but I think if you really search, you do get good talent. And there's still good talent in Nepal. And obviously, people do go abroad a lot, a lot than more than I would expect. But at the same time, when they see that they're in their own country, if they if a brand or a hotel offers, it's always about being stagnant. So, you know, like for me also, if you see if I was, I don't know about, I, I'll speak about IHG. If, if with IHG, if with my performance and dedication they saw, and they always gave me the growth. So I stuck with the company for this long. And I came back to it also because I knew they do recognize talent. They do. And similarly, I can vouch for my team with a lot of conviction. You know, when I hire, I tell them what your growth is. All my managers, even junior team members, when I give their induction, I explain them what their career growth can be. You know, if you put in that effort, because I'm a live example, you know, uh, it didn't take me too much time to be where I was. And obviously you have to work really, really hard for it. There's no shortcut to life. But at the same time, when team members see that, oh, you know what, today I'm in Kathmandu, tomorrow another hotel is opening in Nepal Ganj, or let's say another place part of Kathmandu, they need the team. And we always prefer, and in our company, okay. we always encourage first is our internal team members to grow. So if I have a position, suppose tomorrow my F&B director or someone leaves, I'll ensure it's an internal growth. I won't hire a new person to run the, because okay. the dynamics change. Exactly. So you have to be very careful, uh, you know, so it's very important when you have your head of department to make sure they start grooming your second man for the position of that. So that is succession planning is very, very important. And we really follow that because if I don't suppose if I do succession planning for a general manager tomorrow from my team, suppose, for example, till I don't do that or if I don't have someone who can handle the whole hotel, my growth will be stagnant. So it's very important to groom and IIG really focuses on succession planning, performance. So it's very, very important to have all these young kids, especially during their college time to, you know, have speakers like us, you know, to come over, do a, a I wouldn't say career counseling, but also get to know how they move ahead in career. Because even if you go abroad, you are not going to be a general manager in that timeline as what you could become in Southwest Asia. Because the quantity of hotel opening, the manpower that is required, the talent that is required is huge here. And now, to be very honest, everyone is paying well. It's not, a, it's not what we started now with. Now it's very competitive. I now it's very competitive. 101%. So even the pay scale is good. Perks are good. And growth. That is important. Growth is one of the main reasons, uh, I think, the youth leave. is like, what is my opportunities here? So I think more brands coming, I think will also help hospitality to stabilize in terms of manpower. Because once you give all these young people to look forward for something, they will stick. Why? I don't think so. Anyone wants to leave their country and go until unless it's necessary to be very honest. So I think hospitality will stabilize in a year or two in terms of manpower also once all these brand hotels and all settle. I think that's what I see. As a final question. You've just launched about two months back and still more things are going to be finalized, your, your restaurant, one or two outlets. What are your expectations with the season already here, almost also the high season? What would, are your so expectations for the entire industry and the hotel? <laughs> now, the season is here. Now, uh, the question comes is obviously our movement from outside during Dasai Diwali is a little bit less. No. So, obviously, we look into our domestic market. And the question comes is also, we are looking into the Indian market a lot. So Indian domestic 
Chinese, yes, we are going through agents and everything. So we are targeting these market initially. So obviously there's Japanese to everyone and obviously we are surrounded with uh, religious gumbas and everything around. So we have a lot of potential for religious tourism. We have Buddha Nil Kantha, right to be honest, not even like if you walk downhill, it's not even five to six minutes you reach that. So obviously from um, there's a lot of expectations from the market and I think it will be this this year will be a defining year and next year I think is when we start stabilizing and getting everything done at least for our hotel. So just now more focus for me is for people to come and experience our hotel, experience our food, our services because uh, I don't think so. I mean that's that is how I would like to prove to all my customers and guests who are there is do visit the hotel and First is to create an experience and obviously if I'm saying, you know, blowing my own trumpet about food and things and all, there must be something because I'm my biggest critic. So um, expectations is al always a lot. Humans will always have a lot of expectations, but we would like to start small, grow very organi org organically ahead with the team, with even the team has to stabilize. even. All the agents who trust us, who have come over, you know, we have to build that connections with them. So first is for us to put our foot forward and get our customers, make sure we get good <coughs> reviews and everything. So I think we will be in a very good footing because I saw uh, just the last bit as we opened till now, like I said, before I could even properly market, I already had customers coming in. So that has been a big boon and they've loved the services, they've loved the hotel, the view. View is fantastic. Thank you so much for having us here in this wonderful property and all the best. Thank you so much, sir. Season. And see you soon. Thank you.